Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Ottoman Empire in the Great War mod. Uh, I'd like to apologize right from the get-go, guys, uh, because it is really, really windy here right now, so you guys might be able to hear it. Really nothing I can do about it. Unfortunately, I did try to contact the wind gods, and they told me to go fuck myself, so uh, we're just going to have to deal with it today, uh, and it's not getting any better. It's just so windy where we live. Always just uh, really, really windy. All right, guys, so in the last episode, uh, World War One began. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the thing now. We've got uh, the Central Powers, uh, Germany and Austria-Hungary, uh, currently engaged in Russia and winning. Uh, over here, not a whole lot of fighting, though we see that there is one little bubble there. So there is some fighting. Also, the Ger uh, Germany seems to have lost their entire navy. So that's, uh, that's unfortunate. However, what, what we're going to do... I, I feel like we're going to have to start getting ready for this war. We're going to have to join the Central Powers soon uh, because I, I just don't know that the world tension is going to tick up to 50% where we can kind of get some independent wars going. Uh, if it does, while we're repairing, then we'll take advantage of that uh, and we'll leave some of our units in place uh, for that instance. I just don't know that it's going to get that high, guys. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start preparing for the war with the uh, Entente here uh, because there's really not much else that we can do right now. Um, and I'm not going to go just jump right into it though guys uh we want to get some planning bonuses also we need manpower uh we don't have any manpower right now uh, so i would like to get that fixed uh so i'm thinking like i don't know three or four months from now um maybe right before the winter because that'd be brilliant we're gonna be fighting in the desert anyway so it's not really gonna matter uh, so let's go and start getting ready uh the first thing i'd like to do is well we have these troops here um that need to get put into armies uh but we're gonna go and get them training up first uh realize that they don't have all their experience yet so we'll leave them here uh get them training also one thing that was brought up uh, in the comments was releasing yemen and assur here um through our little managed occupied territories we could release them and then we could do that national focus uh that we where we need to have them uh not only do they have to be uh, you know, a, a free state, they have to be completely independent. Where is that anyways? Oh, it's right here. Uh, yeah, they must be fully independent. So they, it's not just enough that we release them. They would have to be, uh, they would no longer be part of our empire. Uh, and I really don't see the reason for doing that, guys. Um, I, it's, I don't, we're going to be losing that territory. It's going to be completely separated from us. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of infrastructure in a couple places. Uh, but that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, just so that we can get to support the revolt in Omen. Uh, and yeah, that's not going to do much. Uh, it's just going to make Omen declare war on the UK. Uh, which will quickly get destroyed unless we help them. And there's really, they don't really offer much. They might not join uh, the Central Powers. And even if they did, like I said, there's really, uh, we're not getting anything from that. They have a couple divisions. So I just don't think it's worth it releasing this. We're going to lose two factories. That's it. There's not only the resources, but I just don't see it being worth it. There's no reason for it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to train those guys up. Uh, and then we're also going to go ahead and move this purple army here. Uh, the purple army is going to be coming over to this border, but we're not going to need this one anymore. Uh, because frankly, we can't, we can't invade them right now it's just not an option uh so we're gonna have we're gonna give them two borders uh we're gonna have one over here and then we're also going to give them and everybody should be uh moving over to here yeah 14 divisions uh and then we're going to go ahead and you know what we need to put one of these janissary units into the to the blue army which i did change the colors by the way uh this is now the blue army this is now the orange army and that's just because i had two yellows and i really wanted these guys to be like a yellow or orange or something because they're in the desert so i changed these guys uh, so they are blue now. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw them over to the blue army because obviously the Russians here, uh, yeah, we, we need a little bit more troops over there. Uh, and then, yeah, this purple army here, we're also going to give them a line over here because uh, I'm going to have them invade uh, both these areas at the same time. Um, come on. There we go. Excellent. Uh, we're just going to throw maybe a couple divisions down here. Not very many. Uh, I really don't feel like we need very many. I mean, probably three divisions will be enough. It might, That actually might be overkill. Uh, but yeah, three divisions over here. Uh, let's go ahead and give them a line to march all the way down this territory here. Uh, also need to take uh, Kuwait here, but we'll do that later. Um, it's fine. Although, that could be a point of invasion. Hmm. Maybe we'll just send one of these divisions that we have over here uh, over to Kuwait real quick. And then go take take that over. Uh, let's go and draw this line here. We're going to have them take, we want them to take all that territory there. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and draw a line over here in Egypt as well. Uh, we're going to have them probably just march to this point here. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I don't know how far down south we're going to go just yet. We'll just have to see, guys. Uh, and then also, we need to get these guys situated. Uh, this guy here, he's going to hop back into this yellow yellow army here. And we're going to go ahead and move him. Uh, he's going to go over to here, I suppose. 
We're just going to have them go over there uh, and go get with the rest of the cavalry units. They're really, they're just not very good. There's no point in having them over there. And I have I have uh, something we're going to be doing with those cavalry units. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new army here. Uh, they will be, I don't know, maybe like a brown or something. Kind of similar uh, to the other to the other army here. So I know this is all North Africa. Um, we'll go ahead and give them also kind of a similar icon here. Um, yeah, we'll give them this one. Does anybody have this? No. Okay. That'll work. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give them a line over here. Okay, and they'll be marching through uh, this area to take Tunis. And I'm not sure how we're gonna draw this out just yet. Let's just have them focus on getting Tunis first. Yeah, we'll just get these guys wrapped up. This this will force them to capitulate. Uh, let's let's focus on on that first. Hopefully, we don't get cut off though. That's what I was kind of worried about while I was kind of looking at that. Uh, don't want that to happen. Uh, with this army here, we also need to give them uh, some commanders as well, guys. Uh, I think we have one general. Uh, available, I believe. Let me just check here. Okay, all these guys are looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, we got one general available. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it to this one. We might actually hire another one as well. We might as well. Let's let's uh, go ahead and get a new general here, a new commander. Uh, just a level one guy. He's gonna command these three troops here. Uh, and yeah, looking good. Uh, we're gonna take this army, uh, give them a nice little line here, and have them, oops, have them advance uh, this way. Just whichever, which, whoever gets here first. Really, that's what it comes down to. Okay, excellent. Uh, so yeah, they're going to march through there, take that territory. Uh, everybody else is looking good, right? I believe that's all we needed to do. Okay. Let's go and unpause. Let our troops move around here. There might be something else that I'm forgetting. Though I don't think it's uh, too pressing of a matter. These guys need a general. Yeah, we have got to get these guys a general. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and hire another one then. Let's get one more commander here. I think that would be uh, wise to do so because these guys are going to do a lot of fighting. Uh, I expect them to. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and move one of these cavalry units, whichever one's the mo most trained one, uh, since they're going to be, uh, you know, not training while we move them. Uh, we're going to move them over here because they're going to take Kuwait real quick. I don't even think there's anybody over here to protect this territory. Uh, so yeah, we'll just have them run over there and take Kuwait. No problem at all. All right, so all of our troops are currently moving around. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I think we need a little bit of time before we declare war. There's no reason not to wait. Let Russia get kind of really hardcore involved over here uh, and not be concerned with this area over here. Uh, and I just I just think that would be really, really smart. Uh, we got one of these armored cars done. Uh, we're going to be sending this one. I think we're going to send it over here. We could also send it to this army. You know what? That'd probably be really, really smart. Let's go ahead and send them over to them. Uh, we'll go ahead and just have them manually move over there. Uh, so I don't have to do it. Okay, excellent. Uh, so yeah, they'll get there, get over there. Uh, and are they... Hmm. Where are they going? Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, they just had to get to the port. All right, so they're going to go over there. And it looks like we also have our cavalry unit here. They're going to come over to here. Uh, what this unit is doing, which I think I might have already mentioned this, but this is going to be our occupation force. Whenever we occupy a new territory, uh, we'll just assign that, it to them so that they can, uh, you know, you know, guard against any uh, resistance, any rebels who want to oppose our rule. We're going to go up to speed four uh, since we're really just waiting for things. Like I said, what we're going to do is we need to get those two, uh, two national focuses here. Uh, this one here that we're working on and then the one that's gonna give us manpower uh, I feel like we have to do that before we get the war started get some more things building up here That's why I was saying that's that's 270 days. It's 140 days. Uh, that's what I was saying three to four months uh, And then after that we'd probably declare war also This gives us a nice little planning bonus too. everybody will get all planned up uh, Which would be excellent and we need to get all the ones assigned uh, to here uh, Let's go ahead and select these guys and I don't know why they're not assigned to this line. That's odd Okay, well, whatever. Now they are. That's been fixed. Uh, everybody's good over on that one. Uh, everybody should be getting a nice little planning bonus. Uh, it doesn't seem that the UK has anybody in Egypt. We might be able to take this very, very easily, which would be excellent. What kind of resources are we looking at getting from Egypt? Uh, just kind of curious. You know, the mod is different from vanilla, so you really don't know what's going to be in any of the areas. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. All right, we're not going to get any resources. I mean, it doesn't take away from the importance of taking uh, Egypt. Obviously, we need to get control of that Suez Canal. Uh, that's really, uh, that's going to lock down the Mediterranean uh, from this route. And if we can come over here and take this territory too, although, nope, that's not going to be an option. Yeah, that's right. Spain owns this territory here, not France. All right, so yeah, we're not going to be able to lock this down. Uh, we would have to get control of Gibraltar. And there's no way to do that uh, with the exception of a naval invasion, which is not something I'm keen on doing. I wonder what Spain is going to do. 
I would love to have them join us. I think it's not likely. Uh, we got the maintenance companies. We're going to go and get the uh, MPs now. Uh, I want to get those for our cavalry units. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff that we need to get, uh, but I kind of want to get those research bonuses, and I don't think it's going to hurt. Uh, so, yeah, we're just waiting on getting these uh, national focuses. Really, that's that's what we're waiting on right now. It uh, seems that we got these armor cars done as well. I think we're going to throw one of the Red Army. Let's get them coming over to here. And then the other one, uh, maybe into the Purple Army? I'm not entirely sure, but I think that might be... Uh, the best location for them to go. We've already sent one over to here. Yeah, let's let's put them over there. I think that'd be the best place. Uh, where are they at? Here we go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just send this unit uh, to the purple army. Get on in there, and I suppose they're gonna be on this line. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be needed down here. I think this should be really really easy taking control of that. Uh, so now the only four units that are still training are the ones in this area here. Okay, excellent. Uh, so yeah, uh, as soon as we get this, uh, we'll move towards the next one. Uh, and then hopefully uh, by that point we'll also have our industry built up a little bit more too So that's another thing that I think uh, is a benefit here of us waiting is that we are getting our industry uh, Kind of built up. Uh, let's just take a look at what we've got going here We got two civilian factories built and pretty important. Uh, we'll keep doing that. We need to get an air base over here We have this one here, uh, but I, I, I think they'd build a bomb right over here But I don't think they could get into Egypt So what we might want to do is get an air base built uh, just right here in Palestine. Maybe maybe just one. We'll, we'll go two levels. Yeah, we'll get that built up because uh, I think that'll be helpful in Egypt just in case we do run into any resistance there. Uh, and having an air base here wouldn't be a bad thing anyways. Uh, we can make use of it to bomb any ships that might be coming around here. I don't know. I'm really thinking about making use of our Air Force to try and like help bomb the uh, enemy Navy. They're not going to be as effective as the naval bombers in Vanilla. Uh, because there are no naval bombers in, here in World War One, we just have to make use of uh, the the scouts. I think is what we currently have. They they can do the naval bombing mission though, so we'll probably be uh, using them some to try and deal with the uh, British Navy. Which one are these? Okay, these are the ones down here. Let's go ahead and put them into the Yellow Army over here and get them moving to, I mean, it really doesn't matter if we actually move them over here. I just like having them all in the same area. It doesn't matter. The, the most likely location they're going to first be going over here to is Egypt, so it'd probably be wise to put the Yellow Army uh, over here in a more central location. You know what? We will do that. Why not? Uh, since that's, we know that this is where we're going. Let's go and put the whole entire Yellow Army uh, over here into Aleppo. And man, look at that. Aleppo is a sprawling city. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, it takes up that whole entire province there. Uh, so we are looking at uh, having a little, we have a little bit of army experience here. I'm not entirely sure if we should work on our armored cars again. How much was that? I think it was 70. I'm really, really tempted uh, to build another variant of them. Um, but we would lose that production efficiency. But it would make them a lot better. So it makes me want to spend it. And there's nothing really else for us to spend it on. We don't have tanks yet. No, there's really not anything else to spend the army experience on. And I don't really uh, think we need in to make any more adjustments to our, our divisions. I'm pretty sure we're done with that. We're pretty close to being done with it. Hey, I don't really see any other uh, problems here. I mean, we had all that experience. I think we got everything we needed. I want to get the military police over here. Uh, we could also get change something out over here uh, for those uh, maintenance units. Uh, that's an option, but I don't think we're going to do that right now. I think we're just going to leave it as is. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, we'll wait till we get those MPs. That's the only thing I can really see uh, doing there. So really, our army experience is essentially just for, uh, I guess, just to build variants of those those units. Uh, so maybe we should wait a little bit uh, until we have a little bit more. Uh, so we can put a little bit more into them. Yeah, that doesn't hurt. Uh, we are getting some some army experience from training. Uh, these guys are done now. Let's go ahead and pull them out. You know, we're not going to put them into an army, though, I don't think. Uh, we're going to just leave them over here uh, because I want them to take that, that uh, Kuwait city there as soon as the war begins. Uh, so I'm hoping that it begins this episode. I don't know though. We're about almost halfway through the episode here and obviously yeah we haven't we haven't uh, jumped in the war yet. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, we're looking we're almost done with this first one here. Uh, so I, I just don't think it's gonna be uh, starting. And, and if it did start, we would literally be declaring war uh, like at the very end of the episode. So that'd be kind of a teaser. Uh, so we got that. That it has decreased our political power uh, substantially. Uh, we're going to go ahead and abolish the Constitution now. Uh, just because this gives us that recruitable population. That's what we really need. Also, the effect of partisans is going to be less. We're going to get a little bit more army experience. Uh, and we can send volunteer forces. Might be something we want to do. 
uh, to help out the central powers? I don't know. Uh, we'd have to get an army together to do that, of course. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we're mainly doing that for that manpower, guys. That manpower is going to be incredibly helpful for us. It's going to allow us to build up our units again, or start building units again, I should say. As you can see, our stockpiles are not terrible. Uh, could be much better. Looks like heavy artillery is what we're needing the most. Maybe we need to make a few adjustments here. Uh, yeah, let's let's pull from that and put it into the heavy artillery. Uh, is there anything else we might want to pull from? I think we're probably good here. I kind of want to get another towards early artillery though. So you know what? Let's let's pull another one of these. Let's go like so and get one more towards the uh, siege artillery as well. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, let's see how we're doing on resources. Uh, we're doing pretty good, I guess. We're not gonna. I, I know that we're trading for some stuff that we don't need, uh, but we don't have. Uh, we don't have the situation where we can reduce that just yet. Are these guys done yet? No, they got a lot of training to go, but we'll be able to add them into this army. That'll put it up to 14. Remember, we need 18 uh, to defend all of our ports uh, over here in the Mediterranean. And of course, that's not even counting the ports over here. These are open up to invasion. That would obviously not be good. Uh, don't want them invading Libya. Uh, there's other locations too that we don't want them invading. You know, all, all, obviously in this entire area over here in Arabia, we don't want them invading there either. Uh, but we're not going to be able to man all those ports right now. Not yet, guys. Uh, so we just got something. Uh, the cruisers. Okay. Uh, so do we want to keep on working on ships? I just don't, I just don't know that it's all that beneficial. We can go for carriers. Have some early carriers. That'd probably be really helpful. That's a lot of stuff that we have to research though, uh, to get really carriers out there working efficiently. All right. So looking around, uh, it seems that, uh, we do actually have a naval bomber or equivalent of one. We have these seaplanes here. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, so yeah, that'll be helpful. Uh, for bombing the the UK fleet might be something we want to get kind of early here Although I, I just really want those tech bonuses uh, But we're not really working on the national focuses for that just yet So I don't know if we should wait to be building these but I do know what we're gonna be getting next guys uh, We're gonna go ahead and get I do want to get these ships here. We're gonna get the battle cruiser threes uh, Just so we can get a, a, a nice advanced fleet although it's gonna be a smaller fleet Maybe it can be you know on par with the other fleets I think that'd be uh, a good thing and you know what we're gonna go ahead and replace this uh, because frankly it's it's barely built yet so it's i mean that's a matter of days uh and just replace it with these light cruisers here yeah it was nine days of production uh really no reason to uh, worry about that uh let's go and make sure these guys build in constantinople as well i didn't realize that they weren't okay excellent uh so yeah we have uh better cruisers now uh light cruisers which is pretty cool um should help uh as we get them built uh in the naval battle that i'm sure we're going to be losing <laughs> i don't think we have any chance guys uh, of winning the naval war uh, I almost feel like we're wasting resources uh, working on it because I, I, we have no chance of winning. Uh, maybe when the uh, when the Germans still had their their fleet, maybe we had a small itty bitty chance of winning if we built enough a large enough fleet and we had you know naval bombers helping us. Uh, but yeah, now now I can tell you that there's n no chance that we're gonna win. Uh, really, all we can hope to do is get the Mediterranean locked down. But it's gonna be very difficult to do that if we don't, can't get control of the Gibraltar Straits. So I'm not entirely sure uh, how we're gonna go go about doing that. Uh, so yeah, as soon as we get this this manpower, we'll probably declare war. Uh, I'm not gonna wait till we build the units, obviously. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm glad that we are going to this war because as you can see, world tension is just ticking down. Um, which is, you know, unfortunate uh, that nothing else is really increasing that right now. Um, and yeah, we do not have enough here. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, uh, because we need 18. So we're gonna have uh, a couple ports that are not guarded. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and get a few more of these guys building right now. Uh, we have 14. We need four more. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get five more. And it's fine. Uh, that we're burning our manpower because we're about to get a bunch more. So it's not a problem. All right, excellent. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get them building out. They're going to come over here to Constantinople. And I don't I don't know if we're going to train them or not. I'm kind of thinking we might not train them. I mean, it would probably be best if we did. Uh, but we need to get them into the army. So I'm not entirely sure if we'll train them. We'll just have to see, guys. Uh, the game is ticking really, really slow for Speed 4. It seems like it might be having a little bit of lag. Hopefully, it's not affecting uh, the recording at all. I never can tell with these damn things. Uh, you know, this game, sometimes, it definitely has some performance issues. Uh, but for the most part, it performs pretty well on my computer. But I've had a lot of reports where people have been telling me that they, they just can't play the game. Uh, it looks like we got a lot of stuff built out over here. Uh, we have our, uh, we got our airbase here. 
uh, the first level of it anyway. We also got two more civilian factories, uh, which will be really helpful for building stuff out. Uh, do we want to build any more things other than factories? Something other than factories here. I'm not really seeing it. I don't think we're going to need uh, the forts or the uh, trenches over here. Uh, because, uh, obviously, Russia, there's, there's nobody here. There's nobody here in Russia right now. Uh, so not a concern. And one of these guys is not getting a planning bonus. My bad. Anybody else having that issue? I don't think so. I think we got everybody else assigned there. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna build. We're not gonna build that out. Uh, the the trenches of the forts. Uh, I I just don't think that there's there's any lines where I see us where we're gonna be on the defense. Uh, we're gonna be largely on the offense everywhere. Uh, and I'm not really seeing anything else that we might want to build. Well, how's Constantinople looking? It's eight out of ten. Uh, pretty much good there. Uh, good over here in North Africa. Yeah, I guess we can just go ahead and build uh, factories. We do need to build our infrastructure up. I'm well aware of that, guys. The infrastructure is an issue all throughout uh, Turkey here. Uh, but I just I just don't want to invest in that right now. We're going to keep on working on civilian factories. Let's go and put these. No, we're going to put these into the Balkans. Any areas that we have open in the Balkans. Put them all in here. All right. Excellent. Uh, maybe two. No, one more. We'll do one more here. Okay, so we'll get three more civilian factories uh, building up there. And then after that, we're going to start concentrating on military factories. We're going to need a lot of equipment, guys. A whole lot of equipment. And yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to be going to war in this episode. We could go up to speed five, I guess. Uh, and maybe that'll make it go faster. <laughs> Seems to have some issues here. Like it doesn't know if it wants to go fast or not. Uh, but man, we do not have uh, a lot of uh, support here for our... Okay, never mind. The generic one is authoritarian. We do have a little bit of fascist support, 6%. Uh, 22% for the liberal Entente. Okay. Uh, we did lose a little bit of that authoritarian when we, uh, I think it was like 3% with that national focus uh, that we took. Uh, but, you know, that's that's not a big deal. Not barely even relevant here. So we're going to have a full planning bonus here uh, when we declare war. Frankly, this is it's taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take to get this here. Uh, we're looking at a total of 16 more days uh, to get that done. Uh, but I don't want to declare war without some manpower, guys. And like I said, it doesn't it doesn't hurt. Uh, we are currently also building up units now as well. Uh, though they look like they have a lot of stuff they still need to get here. I almost want to put to deploy them and have them train out here. I think we might do that. Yeah, let's let's do that. We're gonna go ahead and deploy these lines here instantly, uh, and then create a new army here. Uh, I guess they go into Balkans. They're technically in the Balkans. That's fine. Uh, or we can put them over here in the garrison. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, put them in the garrison. Get a little training army going over here. Where's our peasant? Where is it? Where's my pitchfork? There we go. All right, excellent. Go ahead and get these guys training. Um, yeah, they got a lot of training to do. Uh, it's still got some equipment to go as well. Uh, so how are we doing now? Uh, we are looking at 12 more days here. Did I do the math wrong on that? I fucking did do the math. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it was like 20-something days. I don't know how to subtract. I didn't do basic math, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, when, when the war starts... Oh, it looks like they do have some troops over here. Okay. Maybe we want to put one of these purple divisions uh, from over here, over there. I think we do. Let's just go ahead and pull one of these guys uh, and put them on this line. I think it, they're going to be needed over here. Uh, I didn't know there's going to be any troops over here, uh, but it seems that uh, the British Raj has put two divisions over there. Any other ones? No, I'm not seeing it. All right, excellent. So we have 1.6 million uh, manpower. That is a considerable amount there. Uh, do we want to go? We don't need more population right now. No. Uh, I think we should start working on... Well, let me just, before I go yapping my mouth off, uh, there might be a few other things that we might want to get here uh, before we go for that. Um, perhaps... Uh, could go for artillery, could go for the trench warfare focus, uh, could also go for, uh, well, really, we could go for any of these. Doctrine effort would be good as well. Uh, but what I really want to do is start working, oh, yeah, we can get military factory too. Okay. Um, we can't get that till 1916 though, but that is very soon. What do we have to have? Oh, we only have to have one. Wow. Okay. We're going to be getting that soon. All right. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, what I want to go ahead and do is start working on the aviation. Oh, man, we're far, far away from a lot of this stuff as well. Uh, we really need to start working on the Air Force, I think. Uh, we've been neglecting it. I really didn't think the Air Force would play as large a role as I think it's going to. Uh, because, um, and you know what? I can go ahead and start this war, can't I? Yeah, we can. I suppose we'll go ahead and declare war. Uh, you can see the Russians are currently losing over here. Uh, but, yeah, let's join the Central Powers. Let's get it done, guys. Uh, where is Where is it? 
Has to join faction. Oh my. Are you freaking serious? You can't join a faction unless roll tension is at 40%. Okay. Uh, they do have an event here. They do have their national focus here for, for befriend Ottomans. What does that do? Okay, they're, we're going to get an event when they're done with this, 19 days away, uh, to join the Central Powers. Okay. Um, never mind then. I was kind of concerned about that. Uh, there, we did have a national focus that lets us join the, the Central Powers as well. Uh, but I really didn't want to have to go towards that. And I didn't have to wait. Oh, wow. Germany is losing. Yep, Germany is already losing to France. Yep, look at that. That is awesome. You know what? We're still going to fucking join them, though. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I okay. Germany is, is currently losing really badly. Yeah, France is just pushing through here. Germany might capitulate soon. Actually, I mean, we'll probably still join them, but this is not going to be is not going to be pretty. Uh, 40% without Germany? Without Germany in the war? I don't see how the Central Powers win. The Ottomans and Austria hungry? We're going to do it anyway, guys. I don't care. Uh, but, I mean, oh, good grief. Wow. And the UK is invaded over here. All right. <laughs> that's That's super awesome. You know what we're going to do? How many days until this is done? Now, what I was going to say, I was checking how many days we had left. What I was going to say that what we could do is I could end the episode and then I can ask you guys uh, what you think we should do here. Uh, you know, I'm not joining the Entente. That would be stupid. That wouldn't even be fun at all. So we're not joining the Entente. That's not an option. Uh, but I was going to ask you if we should join the Central Powers and, and hitch ourselves to uh, this, this losing event here. <laughs> Or should we just try and, you know, once the peace happens, uh, you know, world tension will increase and we can kind of just roll our own way and to kind of like fight whoever we can uh, without uh, trying to avoid the Entente. But we'd be fighting the entire Entente by ourselves. But it looks like that might be end up what happened in any way. So I was going to ask you guys in the comments, uh, let you guys kind of like pick what we do. However, I forgot I'm recording two videos at the same time or, you know, back to back. So uh, and I, I really do have to record both of these because I'm working a lot these next few days. I'm coming off work right now. I've worked. Uh, 14 hours today is what I worked. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I'm, I don't want to have to do this again tomorrow after I work 14 hours. Uh, so I, I would prefer recording them too, and it's really, really hard to record one video at a time because I always feel like I, I got to keep going. Uh, so we're not gonna do that because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do another one here. Uh, so we're just gonna we're gonna join them, and then we're gonna send the Red Army over there. Uh, let's let's get them going now because uh, we're gonna try and save them. Uh, we don't really have any other options here, guys. Uh, we're just going to attempt to save them. Uh, can I get access here? Let's see if they'll give me... A no, they still don't want to give me access. Okay. Well, until then, uh, let's just get the uh, Red Army coming over to here then. Everybody go over there. Uh, we're going to try and get them to Vienna really, really quick as soon as we join uh, the war here. Uh, we're going to slow this down here. Here we go. Excellent. Uh, so we're going to be joining the Central Powers. Okay. Um, Ottoman Empire is, is influencing our politics. That's weird. Uh, for a long time, the Ottoman government has sought to align the path of our countries and has expressed a great interest in Ottoman politics. Recently, this intensified when CUP started pushing their authoritarian propaganda with a number of speeches and reading material distributed to the Ottoman people. Now, even a number of politicians and other officials are being swayed by the Ottoman propaganda and have started advocating for neutra neutrality now in Ottoman Empire. Um, I, I don't really know... Uh, what, what's going on here? Seems like maybe some, uh, localization bugs or something. Uh, but yeah, we're, we are now in the Central Powers. Uh, we want to join their war, uh, because we're not involved yet. Um, uh, but, okay, we need to give it a second, it seems. Huh. Yeah, because I'm not in the Central Powers yet. Okay. Uh, I wonder why. Why am I not part of the Central Powers? Does it, did the event not work? I said... Yeah, I said the right thing. Huh. Okay. Uh, that's weird. I was really thinking that that was going to be pulling us into the war. Or pulling us into the faction. That's what it said anyway. It said join the Central Powers. Uh, we are not a member of the Central Powers, though. What's going on here? Okay. Yeah, I'm not... Okay, that's us. My bad. Yeah, I don't I don't know uh, why we can't, can't join them. We've got... Yeah, there's just nothing that they would not allow us to join here. Uh, the non-aligned, I think, is is hurting. Okay, uh, we need we're at negative nine. Maybe if we increased relay, no, that wouldn't be enough either. 
We're going to go ahead and ex expend the, the, the political power to do so. We'll go ahead and improve relations with them as well. Uh, but I don't think that that's going to be enough. We really need to get our army over here as well. Like, badly. Though it seems Germany has shifted gears and moved their army back over to there. Uh, but we really need to get over there. We're going to help. Uh, as soon as we get into the war, we're going to be helping fight France uh, with our really good Red Army. I feel like we have to. Or else we're going to be losing Germany. Uh, but I can't do anything if I can't join the Central Powers. Yeah, they just... Okay, I don't know what's going on there, guys. Um, yeah, that's that's a little bit irritating here. Uh, but I guess we're going to be ending the episode? Ugh, God, I, I don't like ending it on this. Uh, where is that join the Central Powers? Oh, yeah, we are really far away from that, guys. Yeah. That's quite a ways away here. So that is, like, months. Months away. Okay, that's, that's many months away. All right, guys, so, yeah, I, I realize that we, we also need to get some units training here. Um, there are, uh, you know, we have all that manpower here. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do that uh, as soon as we got the manpower. So next episode, we're going to go ahead and get a lot of units training, quite a bit, guys. Uh, get those guys training up uh, and getting them preparing for, uh, a, you know, the future war with the Entente. Now, I have a plan on how we can get involved with this war, guys. Uh, I've been thinking about it here, and I think what we're going to do is we are going to declare war on the Emirate. Uh, because there's no other way for us to join the Central Powers. Uh, they are just, uh, we can't do it this way. I, I'm not going to go for that national focus. That's going to take too long. Uh, and for whatever reason, that event that fired uh, didn't work properly. Maybe it will. Uh, maybe we need to wait a little bit. Uh, and if that happens, that happens. But what I'm thinking that we're going to do is we're going to move our cavalry over here. Yes, the, the cavalry. Uh, we're going to move them uh, over here to the border of the Emirate. Uh, we'll do that next episode, though. Uh, and then we're going to declare war on them because uh, the UK is guaranteeing them. So hopefully that should result in the UK uh, declaring war on us. Uh, and at the very least, we'll be able to enact our plans, take e take control of Egypt, uh, take control of uh, all this area here. And But hopefully, because we're fighting against the same enemy, we should be able to join the Central Powers, guys. Uh, we'll be able to move our troops here and help Germany defeat France. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching, guys.